Hey y'all, it's me, Majority. I've missed doing that intro. I haven't done it in quite some time because I've been focusing a lot of my efforts on the button mappers. Hey, the button. Mapper. Another YouTube channel which is um, run by me, Alex, and now Spencer. We brought Spencer on board. Eventually, it's going to be like the Brady Bunch. Uh, I don't want this to come off as a plug, but I really need you to know that I've been doing consistent video content on that channel for oh, like maybe eight months now. And uh, the migration has been slow from like this channel to that. And I really want people to see the content because we're putting um, not just great effort into it, but it's really provoking content as far as... Um, you know, discussions as far as, you know, games being talked about and the ways that we talk about them. My favorite thing about doing the button mappers is doing map outs. It's a series where we take a game and then like we'll we'll map out all the levels and the worlds in it. We'll kind of chart it from start to finish and give you like a travel guide of sorts. I think that's probably the best way to put it. We are goofballs, so, you know, our humor comes out. But um, I really do want you to know that because we have great plans for the button mappers. And part of the reason I'm mentioning that now is because I want to address my absence from the primary channel. I think the last video that posted was a 50 minute long discussion between me and my dad about a Korean drama, which was awesome. I had a great time doing it. But I remember I recorded that back in like June or July or something. And we had, we had been watching that thing for months. And then I just scheduled it as like a post. I didn't even want it to like post to the public, but I didn't really mind. Uh, the reason I really had that on the channel is because I love my dad, you know, and um, I wanted uh, like, you know, some kind of keepsake there for us and uh, something that we could, you know, look back on kind of fondly. And it's, it's like if I ever want to remember him in a moment where maybe I don't, you know, that's there. This chair is kind of bothering me. <laughs> Maybe I'll just crop it out later. I'm not stagnant with the ideas, but I'm just very caught up with time. So I have to budget my time very wisely. Now, even though we do a primarily audio channel there, we do quite a bit of editing as far as um, still images and uh, soundtracks, etc. So I, over the past week, I think I've edited like four videos together. But the great thing is that we schedule content so that I post every Monday. So you're not going to run out of stuff to watch on the button mappers. That's why I'm saying, you know, we've been doing it for eight months. It's like 32 videos. You, there's a lot of content. So hopefully there's something there you would want to watch. Versus this channel, even just coming back and trying to do this. I don't know what you call this vlog update. What's up with majority? Something like that. I'm realizing it like just standing in front of the mic. This is my third time trying to do it right. Versus when we do a button mappers, just like we, we, we go, you know, we hit it head first and uh, we run with what we got. Uh, yeah, sometimes we'll restart something, but I just remember how stressful video editing is. But that's not to say I don't wanna make video content. I just don't wanna get caught up on it because I think that was a major mistake that I made starting off YouTube is that I put a lot of time into video projects without really considering how important they were in the grand scheme. Some of them were successes and I think that's uh, maybe a take home about you know, really putting your all into video making, but there was no consistency, you know, I, and it's hard for me to say what people would come to majority for. They'd probably say like, oh, I come here for, you know, the likable character and the honest, you know, discussion or whatever. And that's great. That's fine. But I have no concept for majority, which, um, I hate to say it, but I am still exploring what it is. You know, I've got ideas in the back of my head. This game I held up earlier, Ukulele and the Impossible Layer. Now, you may or may not know I'm a huge fan of Banjo-Kazooie, Banjo-Tooie, um, especially those games, like 3D platforming. And when I played Ukulele, I was really excited for it. I don't think I even made a video or anything about it, but I, it, I was passionate about it. And Ukulele kind of fell short in my eyes. Uh, not the first time I played it, but the second when we did a map out. So I'm going to give you a little plug right here. Here's a card. This is where the cards go, right? Uh, that's a full map out of ukulele between me, Alex, and Spencer. And this game, on the other hand, was so damn good that I got a platinum trophy for it. 
and I've never gotten a platinum trophy in anything. And, you know, I've had Xbox Live, you know, I've, I've done the achievements and everything. I've never 100% got all the trophies for any game in my life. But this was the first one. I, I was really proud to get it. The end boss was a pain in the ass. Uh, a lot of those bees were really challenging, getting all 200 of the coins. Uh, I did have to use a walkthrough for a little bit of it. But the reason I'm bringing that up is because I'm debating in my head if it's a video that I want to make now, like my first platinum trophy. Because I know like a video like that is, is it worth it? Is it worth it to make a video called my first platinum trophy? Or is it worth it to make a video called ukulele in the impossible layer the game or, or like or something like going platinum ukulele in the impossible layer you know and I, i'm really trying to devise that framework for myself so i'd be interested to know if that's something that you are interested in are you interested in like frameworks for videos about video games you know giving them concepts as opposed to just like game review, because I'm sick of that. I'm not doing game reviews. Like that's, th there's a um, hundred million game reviewers, you know, and some of them do okay and some of them don't. And I'm not trying to get caught up in that again, because I, it's, I would rather put my time into making substantive videos that can be looked back at, you know, in a way where it's like, this is, um, this is powerful. I would rather make powerful content than I would uh, just make a lot of it. Uh, but one thing you can expect, I did a cool thing with Alex called Game Swap. So uh, this is the game he swapped for me. I'm so used to, I'm like holding with my right hand, so I expect it to be on my right screen. He sent me uh, Rayman Legends for the Wii U. Now, I've actually been playing my Wii U. I got it for my birthday. I bought it for myself. Um, it's not expensive to get right now. Um, I originally had plans to mod the thing. I'm kind of debating not doing that now. Uh, we'll see. But uh, game swap is going to be cool because we each swapped each other a couple games and we're going to do full course videos on them, kind of like an Italian dish at the restaurant. <laughs> That's bad. No, but uh, you can check out Alex's on Turbo Zone. Uh, hopefully his is coming in the mail today. I don't know if he's going to make a video about it, like about like what I'm doing right now, but he's going to do a video about game swap and post it on turbo zone. I'm going to do a video about the game. He sent me Rayman legends and post it here on majority. And then eventually we're going to come back together, unite forces and have a full blown discussion, um, on both of our experiences on the button mappers called game swap. So, uh, Rayman legends. I don't know anything about it. It's still sealed. Um, I have played origins a little bit before, and then I gave it to a guy who was like a family man. And, uh, he said he really enjoyed it. Um, so like that was, that was the thing, but the Wii U, that's another video. Do I want to make a video on the Wii U? I don't know uh, why I won't mod the Wii U. <laughs> Jeez. I'm like just full of questions, but hopefully you have some answers. What have you been uh, missing from my channel? What do you want to see? What do you want to see more of? Um, I mean, I'm not saying I'm going to do what you're going to say, but I'm interested in what you're interested in, in about me so that I can make the best possible content going forward. That being said, I'm enjoying coming back in front of the camera, even if it is kind of like, I don't want to say low edits or anything, even though it is just uh, making my presence again, because I missed it, I missed doing it. And uh, it's good to be back, one might say. D out.